Yeah, notch one mutation is one of the most common mutations found in CLL with about 10 to 15% of patients having a notch one mutation. Um, interestingly, there are other mutations outside of notch one in other regulatory proteins that seem to have a similar effect on notch one signaling, thereby increasing it that we find also in CLL, but at much lower rates. And so uh, in general, I think uh, the notch one signaling pathway is a major pathway that CLL uh, utilizes in order to proliferate and survive. And um, uh, it does seem to associate with more aggressive and more proliferative uh, disease. Many studies have shown early time to first treatments. Uh, when we were using chemoimmunotherapy, notch one mutations identify patients who will do inferior based on certain uh, approaches. And uh, the nice thing is, is that we've now been able to show that notch one mutations while predicting uh, a course prior to therapy that might be a little bit more aggressive, uh, all current evidence shows that when you use novel therapeutics like uh, BTK inhibitors, BCL2 inhibitors, et cetera, this poor risk uh, prognosis seems to be overcome. And those patients with notch one mutations seem to be doing just as well as everyone else and it's somewhat lost its prognostic significance in terms of identifying high-risk CLL once treatment starts. With that said, uh, it does associate with aggressive disease. Patients do need treatment sooner. It does associate with other high-risk features. And one of the other things that we worry about in patients with notch one mutations is that they are at higher risk for transformation seemingly. And uh, thus we need to monitor them closely. And uh, I think we do need to think about notch one mutated CLL a little bit differently than, than other patients uh, that don't have this mutation as it does uh, uh, identify higher risk disease.